in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah i would like to welcome each one of you to hear the word of god through this episode thunder of god the lord speaks to us when we read the bible and we speak to god when we pray it's a beautiful quotation from second vatican council praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus saint augustine said the lord has given us two love letters and the first love letter is this beautiful universe and the second love letter is the bible praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah now let us praise and glory our living god let us give him thanks let him worship his mighty name beautiful psalm 103 bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and do not forget all his benefits He forgives all your iniquity who heals all your diseases. Oh bless the Lord. Oh bless my soul. Oh Lord of my soul. Oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Let's clap our hands. Sing like never before. Oh my soul. I worship your holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul oh my soul worship his holy name hallelujah Sing like never before oh my soul i worship your holy name the sun comes up it's a new day dawning it's time to sing your song again Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me let me be sing when the evening comes Bless the Lord oh my soul oh my soul worship his holy name Hallelujah Sing like never before oh my soul I'll worship your holy great and your heart is kind for all your goodness i will keep on singing ten thousand reasons for my heart to find bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul worship his holy name sing like never before Just here and my time has come still my soul sing your praise unending 10,000 years and forever more bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul worship his holy name sing like never before
We glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. Glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. And for all your goodness, I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons. And for my heart to find all I worship the Lord Jesus, Jesus. Thank you for Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Lord. As your people, Lord. For your love, Lord Jesus. Fill us with your love. Jesus. Fill us with your compassion. Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Mother Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, my dear brothers and sisters, I would like to speak about a beautiful Bible verse that is from the Romans, chapter 1, verse 16. St. Paul says, The gospel of Christ is the power of God. Let us listen to Romans 1, 16 and 17. For I am not ashamed of the gospel and its power of God for salvation to everyone who has faith, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed through faith, for faith it is written, the one who is righteous will live by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. St. Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. My dear people of God, many people are ashamed of the gospel. Even many Christians, many Catholics are ashamed of the gospel. Even some priests and some so-called selected people also are ashamed of the gospel. But St. Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God. It is the power of God. My dear brothers and sisters, when the word of God is preached, the risen Lord comes there and he is confirming the word of God through signs and wonders. The, Mark, the gospel of St. Mark, chapter 16, verse 20, the Bible says, they went out and they went everywhere, proclaimed the gospel, and the Lord himself worked with them with signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So, my dear brothers and sisters, some of you might have heard of St. Jerome. He really loved the word of God. So he wanted to translate the Bible into Latin. As you know, the Old Testament was written in Hebrew and the New Testament was in Greek. And this saint spent 25 years in a cave and he translated this Bible into Latin in his age People, the common language was Latin. And St. Jerome says, if someone doesn't know Bible, he does not know Christ Jesus. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saint Paul in his first letter to the Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 he says for some people the cross of Christ and the gospel of Christ may be foolishness. Please listen to that. For the message about the cross is foolish to those who are perishing but to us who are being saved it is the power of god again saint paul says it is the power of god in his letter to romans he says it is the power of god so this is so we will receive his power when we hear the word of god and when we preach the word of god the people receive the power of god praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord again uh, verse 21 please listen for since in the wisdom of god the world did not know god through wisdom god decided through the foolish of our proclamation to save those who believe you see some people may think that the preaching of the gospel is foolishness but god uses us this foolishness and he considers this foolishness as wisdom so human human humanly speaking the foolishness of the gospel preaching is the power of god and the wisdom of god hallelujah hallelujah i remember a few years back when father savior watail started his ministry many many lay people and even some priests said that he is mad now when he started preaching the gospel many people accused him many things but the holy spirit gave him the grace to persist so he continued his ministry once he became aware of the fact that in his preaching the gospel though it may be foolishness to many people the power of god will be coming to the hearts and minds of hundreds of thousands of people and the lord really worked through him still now he is doing lots of preaching ministry and through the preaching ministry many hundreds of people come to know the love of god many people get healing many people get deliverance why because there is power there is power in the gospel of christ praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah 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 some catholics may think that eucharist is more important than the word of god but no the second vatican council teaches that both the eucharist and the word of god are equally important in the catholic church it is says the church always venerated the word of god as she venerate venerated the body of christ both are equally important many catholics don't know that fact my dear brothers and sisters we should have a, an emotional attachment to the bible we should hear the word of god we should love the word of god we should preach the word of god because it is the power of god hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus so praise you jesus praise you jesus in the old testament book of isaiah chapter 55 verses 10 and 11 so when the word of god is preached it really becomes fruitful isaiah 55 verses 10 and 11 for the rain and snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth making it bring forth and sprout giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goes out of my mouth it shall not return to me empty but it shall accomplish that which i purpose and succeed in the thing for which i sent it praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord the bible says 
the word of god that comes out of my mouth will not return to me in empty it will bear fruit it will bear fruit there is no doubt at all praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus my dear brothers and sisters the bible gives a very strong warning to the priests in the book of hosea chapter 4 verses 4 to 6 sometimes some priests and those who are really authorized to preach the word of god reject it and the lord is speaking through the prophet hosea please listen to him yet let no one contend and let none accuse for with you is my contention o priest you shall stumble by day the prophet also shall stumble with you by night and i will destroy your mother my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge i reject you from being a priest to me since you have forgotten the law of your god i also will forget your children so the bible says because you have rejected knowledge i reject reject you from being a priest so one of the most important duties of a priest is to preach the gospel to preach the gospel praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus in the gospel of saint mark chapter 1 verses 35 to 39 jesus directly speaking about the importance of the preaching of the gospel mark chapter 1 verses 35 to 39 in the morning while it was still very dark he got up and went out to a desert place and there he prayed and simon and his companions hunted for him when they found him they said to him everyone is searching for you he answered let us go on to the neighboring towns so that i may proclaim the message there also for that is what i came out to do you see jesus says let us also go out to other other villages other towns and i have come for this purpose to preach the word of god praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus well, now let us stand up and let us pray to the holy spirit so that we may be proud about the gospel in our lives many times we might have failed in preaching the gospel sometimes we may be we might have been ashamed of the gospel let us ask lord pardon and seek his mercy and also let us pray to the lord to give us his spirit so that we may love the bible that we may love the preaching the word of god o oh, abba father in jesus name i pray that everyone who hears this word of god now be touched by your spirit lord open our hearts lord i pray that you may open our minds that we may love the bible passionately thank you holy spirit come holy spirit i'm not ashamed of the gospel lord your power your love saved my soul now i'm alive in you i'm living the risen son i'm not ashamed of the gospel lord your power your love saved my soul now i am alive in you i'm living the risen son i'm living the risen son living the risen son i'm not ashamed of the gospel lord yes lord the power you love the saved my soul now i am alive in you i'm living the risen son i'm living the risen son yes 
living the risen son i am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of god sacrament most holy oh sacrament divine oh praise and all thanks giving be every moment thine oh sacrament most holy in front of our blessed lord jesus christ he is truly really and personally present before us let us thank him praise him glorify him. this is the time of praise and worship this is the time to give our life to him this is the time to receive his holy spirit Thank you Lord we praise Hallelujah. you Jesus Hallelujah. we glorify Hallelujah. your name Hallelujah. Jesus Hallelujah Lord Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah Jesus. Jesus thank you Jesus. Lord praise you Jesus praise you Jesus praise you Lord we glorify your name Jesus thank you Lord praise you Jesus come now is the time to worship the time to give your heart come just as you want to worship jesus come just as you want before your god we love you lord come we praise you jesus one day every tongue will confess you are god One day every knee will bow Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose him now Oh Jesus One day every tongue will confess you are God One day every knee will bow Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose him now Jesus gospel of john chapter 14 verse 26 jesus said i will ask the father give you another helper who will teach you everything will bring you our mind all that i have said to you holy spirit will teach us the gospel of christ jesus the gospel of christ is the power of god and the holy spirit will teach us Holy Spirit Holy Spirit give us an earnest desire to read the bible and love the bible my dear sisters and brothers when i give you a blessing now receive this grace from the almighty father ask the lord to give us his grace and anointing that we may 
read the bible we may love the bible we may preach the gospel now raise your hands to jesus and give him glory and honor and receive his blessing hallelujah 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 hallelujah, 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 hallelujah jesus give me praise and glory jesus thank you jesus hallelujah 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 hallelujah